subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi everyone, welcome to Test Prep Training. In this video you will learn about the top interview questions for Salesforce Integration Architecture Designer. So let's get started. Question number 1. List the various integration patterns. Your answer is. The integration patterns are classified into two categories. 1. Data integration. 2. Process integration. Question number 2. What is data integration? Your answer is. Data integration is termed as the simplest type of integration to implement. It requires proper information management techniques to make the solution sustainable and cost-effective. These techniques include aspects of master data management, data governance, mastering, deduplication, and data flow design, etc. Moreover, data integration synchronizes the data that resides in two or more systems, so that both systems always contain timely and meaningful data. Question number 3. What is process integration? Your answer is. Process integration is used to implement a solution for triggering application to call across process boundaries to other applications. Moreover, these patterns include both orchestration and choreography. These are mostly used for a business process to leverage two or more applications to complete its task. This type of integration requires complex design, testing, and exception handling requirements. Question number 4. Define event handling? Your answer is. Event handling is the receipt of an identifiable occurrence at a designated receiver. The key processes involved in event handling include 1. Identifying where an event should be forwarded. 2. Executing that forwarding action. 3. Receiving a forwarded event. 4. Taking some kind of appropriate action in response, such as writing to a log, sending an error or recovery process, or sending an additional message. Question number 5. What is protocol conversion? Your answer is. Protocol conversion is a software application that converts the standard, or proprietary protocol of one device to the protocol, suitable for another device to achieve interoperability. Question number 6. What is translation and transformation? Your answer is. The translation and transformation tools often include the ability to create service facades, for legacy or other non-standard endpoints. Transformation is the ability to map one data format to another to ensure interoperability, between the various systems being integrated. Question number 7. Explain queuing and buffering? Your answer is. Queuing and buffering usually depend on asynchronous message passing, as opposed to a request-response architecture. Moreover, the key benefit of an asynchronous message process is that if the receiver application fails for any reason, the senders can continue unaffected. Question number 8. Define synchronous transport protocols? Your answer is. Synchronous transport protocols refer to protocols that support activities wherein a single thread in the caller sends the request message, blocks to wait for the reply message, and then processes the reply. Question number 9. What are asynchronous transport protocols? Your answer is. Asynchronous transport protocols refer to protocols supporting activities, wherein one thread in the caller sends the request message and sets up a callback for the reply. A separate thread listens for reply messages. Question number 10. What is mediation routing? Your answer is. Mediation routing is the specification of a complex transfer of messages from component to component. In such complex cases, mediation simplifies development, integration, and validation. Question number 11. Define orchestration? Your answer is. Orchestration can be defined as the behavior, resulting from a central conductor coordinating the behaviors of individual entities performing tasks independent of each other. Question number 12. What is Salesforce Integration V2? Your answer is. Salesforce Integration V2, also known as Exact Target for App Exchange. Extends advanced email marketing capabilities to your sales or service cloud org. The integration combines contact and lead data from your sales or service cloud org with marketing cloud campaigns. Moreover, this combination provides a single view of how your customers interact with your business. Question number 13 What is Trigger? Your answer is 1. The trigger is a piece of code that executes before or after a record is inserted and updated. 2. 
one can trigger across the object and related to that object. 3. We can use 20 DML operations in one trigger. Question number 14. How can you edit Apex classes in a production environment? Your answer is. You cannot edit Apex classes directly in a production environment. Firstly, done in the sandbox, then deployed in production where a user can make the changes, with the permission of an author. Question number 15. Field-to-field -field filters are unavailable in what report types? Your answer is. Field-to-field -field filters are unavailable in report types that. 1. Reference an external object. 2. Have a with or without the relationship between objects. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.